Alright, how's everyone doing? Welcome to From Z to A, Alphabetical Interviews with Zach Anderson. I am Zach Anderson. Today we are here at Sage Sound Studios for the 62nd edition of Monsters of Acoustic Rock, and I am joined by Dom De Janeiro. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much for being on the show. Uh, I'm going to ask you the difficult questions as long as it has something to do with the letters of your name. Okay. Uh, so we're going to start with D. Uh, if you could describe your style of music in two words, uh, what would those two words be? I would say, like, inspirational rock. Alright. like, um... I love to inspire people. That's my whole my whole spiel is that I write inspiring, upbeat, positive music. Mm -hmm. I also write some of my songs are more more down, kind of um, not not as upbeat, but I write those songs like out of out of my heart and like yeah. out of my struggles. So a lot of it is like really just like inspirational, and I, I try to try to keep it real. Yeah, excellent. I can I definitely I definitely see that in your in your music. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, what, what would you say has been an overall highlight of your music career so far? I would say we did an overdose awareness day with mm -hmm. musical intervention on the New Haven Green. Yep. We did one. We did one this year. It was a train wreck for me because I had, <laughs> I had laryngitis. Right. <laughs> so that wasn't great. But I think um, the first time I ever did it was really was really cool. I never really performed in front of a crowd like that. I never mm -hmm. even on a stage. Um, so I'm still relatively new to all this. Um, so that was a really cool moment for me. Yeah. Nice. Um, and when you're writing music, uh, do you tend to start with the music, melody, uh, lyrics? Does it vary song to song? Usually I'll come up with like a chord progression mm -hmm. and just like lyrics come to me. Okay. Um, but I generally don't like force anything. It's not like a, a rule of thumb where it's like, okay, I'm going to come up with these chords. Yeah. It's more just like, what's coming out of me? Mm -hmm. I gotcha. Um, and what would you say would be your uh, like dream colla collaboration uh, uh, with another artist? Good question. Um, I don't know. I don't really know any artists like myself. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. That's a that's a good question. <laughs> well, you have like a favorite artist that would be cool, kind of cool to be on the same bill with. I love Rush. I would. Right. Um, I know Neil Peart died. Mm -hmm. You know, he's an amazing drummer. Yeah. Absolutely legendary. But um, yeah, I'm not sure about that. I think. My music is kind of unique, yeah. And I want to. I would. I would have to find somebody who like matches my kind of um, my level of not only sophistication but just like energy and willingness mm -hmm. to change, inspire, and change the world and yeah. stuff like that. All right. Um, and uh, is there anything essential you must do in order to get ready for a gig? Do you have any pre-show rituals? Huh. I like to drink coffee. I don't right. know, coffee I, usually, I like to drink coffee. Um, just something to kind of get me going. Mm -hmm. um, try not to drink too much coffee. <laughs> that would that would be good. But just like something, I find that coffee is like very soothing for me, um, or tea. Sometimes tea is soothing, like mm -hmm. chamomile tea. Yeah. But something hot, just like to kind of bring the bring the mood down and get me ready. Okay. Nice. Um, and uh, I like to end all my interviews with three interesting or random facts about yourself that many people may not know. So I would say the first one is that I'm currently a student at uh, Gateway Community College okay. and I'm studying math. I'm studying to be a math teacher. All right. I don't think a lot of people suspect that from me because I'm very like good with words and stuff like that, but mm. I, do, I do have a passion for math and science. Yeah. That's what I want to do with my career. I think the second thing would be that like I'm a I'm an award-winning poet. Okay. When I was in high school, I, w I uh, won some award. Nice. It's for poetry. Um, it was with like the Browning Society of New York. It was like a New York statewide mm -hmm. competition, and I won, which was really really cool. It was like a fancy luncheon. Yeah. So that was cool. And uh, a third fact about me: um, I wanted to be a particle physicist in high school. Going back to that math and uh, in right. high school, I independently studied particle physics, and it was. Um, really interesting to me. Yeah. It's a really cool topic and that's what I wanted to do. But then as I started getting into more mental health related stuff, mm -hmm. that kind of changed years and now I'm back on it. Similar, you know, in a similar field. Yeah. But um, I am a certified recovery support specialist. Okay. Which is a person who has experience in the mental health system, uses mm -hmm. that experience to help other people. Yeah. And so I kind of took that route for my mental health journey and helping other people. And so that's been really cool. I guess that's like four facts, but... <laughs> yeah, that's uh, good. As many facts are, are, are better. Uh, well, thank you so much for being on the show. Uh, if you want to check out Dom De Janeiro, please visit the link below. And now we'll cut to a performance from Dom. So thanks again. We'll see you soon. Holding on
take my hand, I promise I'll lead you to the light. I know things can get hard, and I know you're trying real hard, and I know you see no end, but I promise you. You, my friend, life is better when you're. Life is better when you're. Life is better when you're here. You feel so lost, but you don't know the cost. So remember, we love you, my dear. You may think I don't know. Remember, we love you, my dear.